You know, if there's one thing that will never cease to amaze me, it's how when women have a question about how men are thinking or what they may want, instead of asking men, they do what they've done for eternity now. They go to women and ask them what men think and feel. Because in their minds, they think women know better than men what it is that they think and feel. Usually because women are going to tell them what they want to hear, and men, well, they're going to be honest with them. Brutally honest. What's even more amazing is how they use that approach when it comes to relationships. How they'll ask other women what men are thinking and feeling about relationships or what they want instead of asking the men. Like this one. Okay, I need to know something. For those of you that are married, how did you get your significant other to see the value in getting engaged and getting married? Now, with all due respect to this lovely young lady, and I don't mean to disparage her in any way, she's asking the question of the wrong people. She's asking women what they did instead of saying to men, what did she do? And the reason she did that is because she doesn't want to actually hear the truth of what men are going to tell her. No, she wants to get her beliefs reinforced, which is exactly what happened in all the comments from the women on her video. They all told her a bunch of stuff which isn't even remotely close to the truth. Oh sure, a few of them might have been, but the majority of them were just a rehash of what women want from men in a relationship not what men want from women. It's why they're throwing out things like, well, I had a great career or job, or I owned a house, or any of the other things that women look for in relationships, not men. It was actually pretty funny reading through the comments and realizing that these women have absolutely no clue what they're talking about. And yet they're all reinforcing that they do and piling on, which isn't helping this young lady at all. In other words, they're trying to validate what she's already thinking in her mind, and that's exactly what she wants them to do. But is that going to help her? Not a chance. It hurts me to even like be posting this, but I have waited so long for those things and they haven't happened yet. He can't see this video. I totally blocked him. <laughs> it's amazing how they think that men don't find out about what they're posting online. Just because you blocked him doesn't mean he ain't seeing that video. In fact, I can almost guarantee you he is. Oh, he may not tell you, but if he's not asking you to be his wife, there's a clue to one of the reasons why. Because you're showing you cannot be trusted. That what occurs in your relationship, you're going to put out into the public instead of keeping it private. And privacy is something men cherish, along with respect, which again, you're showing him no respect by making this video. Because instead of asking him what the problem is, instead of having an honest, frank discussion, you've decided to put it out on the internet to ask all the girlies to decide for him. It shows clearly you have absolutely no respect for what he wants or needs. So there's clue number one why he hasn't asked you. But like girl to girl, what are some of the things that you did to accomplish that? Because I'm really struggling to get him to see my perspectives and how much marriage would mean to me. Oh dear God. It's like clockwork, isn't it? What marriage means to you. Here's a thought. Why don't you ask him what marriage means to him? Why don't you sit down and ask him, why haven't you asked me to marry you? What is it I'm not doing? And perhaps more appropriately, what is it I am doing that has caused you to not ask me to marry you? You know, things like posting your dirty laundry out on the internet, for example. I love this man and we have built so much together and I don't want to leave him. But, and we all know what's coming next, she's going to make it about her and talk about what she wants. What he wants, not part of the conversation, which again is part of the problem. Men are tired, over, and done with the narcissistic me, me, me attitude of today's modern women. The one where their wants and needs are the priority, the only priority. And the wants and needs of men are irrelevant. But at the same time, I don't have those things that I have been asking for. And he says it's really selfish of me to ask for them. Which is him directly telling you he doesn't want to marry someone who makes it all about her and doesn't care in the least about him. The reason he hasn't asked you is literally right in your video. It is that obvious, at least to the men. The women... Mm, not so much. And with all due respect, ladies, this is exactly why men are done and walking away from all of you. It's why they're done with dating, done with relationships, and done with marriage. You all keep talking about what you want to get from the relationship or marriage, but none of you are saying what you're going to give in the relationship or marriage. Other than, well, this. 
And as I've said a million times, this ain't worth what you think it is. At least not to men. There's plenty of this to go around without having to marry it. So, I don't know. Help a girl out. I need some advice. Let me know. Well, I just did, but let me summarize it for you. If you want a man to ask you to marry him, you need to give him what he's looking for. And no, it's not that you have a big career, or that you own a house, or that you pay your bills, or that you have a big rack or a great butt. No, it comes down to a few things. It comes down to things like respect, honesty, commitment, privacy, acknowledgement, and the biggest one of all, peace. Are you bringing peace to his life? So if he's not asking you for your hand in marriage, you can be pretty much guaranteed that you're not giving him one or more than likely any of those things. And until you do, he's not going to ask you to marry him.